I'm Kyle. And I'm Gilbert. And this is Unusable. And this... Hey! <laughs> is Richard um, first guest, second episode? Second episode, first guest already. Guest. We have a guest already. Yeah, uh, with a very protruding uh, mic. This is just great because he represents the Lollipop Guild. <laughs> <laughs> um, we are back. We're uh, back. We we did episode one. <laughs> I think it went it went great. How how did it go for you, Gilbert? I'm back. <laughs> yeah, you, you didn't totally quit. Yeah, people were very nice. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. They, you know, I mean, Richard's here. And Richard, Richard's I'm, yeah, I'm here. There's that. Did you watch episode one? What did you think? I did not. He didn't watch it. It's fine. All all come that happened was also come. No, I'm gonna yeah. hang. I'm gonna slowly exit <laughs> frame. No, we're good. And um, I think yeah, I think we got got some good feedback. Yeah, people were excited to, yeah. to see you in the flesh, Gilbert, mm. in the pixels. Yeah, in the pixels. Oh, which, Ed, Ed wasn't so happy about so it. So many pixels. Which brings us to today's topic. Oh boy, how to Gilbert? Now, in the first <laughs> episode, Gilbert made a very silly video titled "How to Kyle" um, about his vacation. Have you seen the video, Hawaii. Richard? No, I have yet. To okay, watch when, we, the video. when we break for when we break for the segment, we'll we'll sneak it in there for you. Okay. Yeah, okay. just for just for Richard to watch and yeah. catch up. Um, so <laughs> I'm loving this mic stand. Dude. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> so I I made a film this week called How to Gilbert, and that's all I'm going to say for now. Right. I have more to say, uh, but I, I do want the piece to kind of speak for itself. Okay. And then. Um, Hmm. I wanted. I want to dive into you know, Gilbert. Why? What brought you to to do this show? Yeah, on yeah. camera, <clears throat> and and where you are today. What? This is forty mentally, physically, forty, all this stuff. Yeah, yeah. All right. all, all this week you've just been like, that, that's this is forty. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, we you, was it Rocky? Is yeah. that it was it because it was like Roke. Rocky. Yeah, Rocky. Rocky. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rocky. Uh, yes. What's unusable about the last episode? And I said clearly it's Ed, right? Because you know <laughs> we had to push him over. So what's unusable this week? What do you think? Yeah. Uh, this week uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a whole bunch of stuff, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ro- Rocky and Brian. Shout out to Rocky and Brian at Dumb Drum. Yes. Um, they they do the great Swede Fest. Um, Let's jump right in. Let's jump right in. Yeah, I want to see. Is, I want to see this video. I haven't seen it. I haven't. Seen he it. hasn't seen it. First run. It's yeah. I I, I saved it. Uh, this is this is Richard and, and Gilbert's first time seeing it along with all of you. Here is how I present to you how to Gilbert. Yeah. Where are we going? Have you heard of a comic convention? No. Comic Con? No. No? Does your dad do this a lot? Does he say, hey, we're going to go someplace and not exactly explain what happens, what it is? Does that happen a lot? Yeah. Okay, great. Lyra already lost her mask, so we're going to get a new mask. gonna see? Yeah. Alex is excited. He's always excited. <laughs> All right, we just went to the Weekend Blender comic convention. What, what did you think? I loved it. You loved it? Can we just do it? Bye! 
Let's see how busy the park is. And we're back. Yeah, we're back. I mean, you probably got like, mm. I tried to film some stuff like as if I was filming as you, but right. also, but there was also some like meta stuff that was like right. Kyle observing Gilbert. <laughs> so but he it, did like the, like the face wipe that Lauren was telling yeah, me. Yeah, like rubbing my eye. And I had no idea I did that. The palm. Of, of my hand, You're and, and as I was saying, I had no idea I did that. You said you, you were doing. Yeah, that's a Richard all the way over there even saw it. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. Um, yeah. Before we go to Gilbert, Richard, how well do you think I captured Gilbert in my little short film? I think you did a really good job of Aww. capturing how he was. <laughs> Why? Well, it's right from the start. I mean, the the whole like seriously, the face wipe thing. <laughs> that is that's one of your go to moves. That's yeah, a, that's a Gilbert move. All right, um, and then the kids, uh, the kids. Yeah, wrangling kids. I don't know if you would spend that much time with your kids, though. I've, I've been to all those places with them. Yeah, yeah, that's those true. those exact places. But yeah, I mean, uh, it was it was a very positive uh, take. On I didn't, yeah, I didn't feel like I wanted to yell at your kids or anything <laughs> that day and, and film that. Yeah, uh, I would definitely definitely yell at them. Um, Cause I knew that like, if I, <laughs> if I start yelling at them early, like then I got to spend the rest of the day with them and then they're upset. No, no. Yeah. Then we wouldn't do all the things that I wanted to do that day. I think you did all right. Mm. You did all right. I mean, you, you <laughs> took the kids the whole freaking day. Yeah. It was, I, yeah. It's it was pretty like good. 10, 10 30 to, they, uh, to six. Something like that. And then you yeah. had dinner with us and then, yeah. but you know. You kind of caught their meds wearing off toward the end of the day. I'm sure you noticed the difference. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's hard. It's hard. Uh, that's, you know, if you're going to Gilbert, that's, that's the, the, you know, the thing is, is it's, it's a lot. That's your day and that's your day it's out. It's a lot. Well, just being, you know, parenting alone, if, you know, for those, for those listeners or viewers that are parents, they, they get it, but they know it, it's, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky. I've actually had a, a, a difficult time, at, you know, if we're going to really get into it, uh, making that transition, yeah. you know, and it's been difficult for me. Before we dig into that, though, yeah. I want to hear from hear from Richard. Richard, what's your what's your history with with Gilbert here, the man of the hour? Oh, man. I Oh, man. The, how, the, short, how long? the short version. Yeah. I don't know. I've, I've known this guy for quite some time now. Yeah. He's like a uh, big since brother you were I high, never since had. Since you were in high school, so yeah, right? yeah seriously, yeah. I think so. I think I think I met you junior year, something like that. Something and then, like that. 
he's been asking you to drill holes in his cabinetry ever since. We've that's, been that's we just do odd <laughs> odd stuff all the time. All just time. all all kinds of different. Richard's things. always game. Like you know how you were gonna jump. Yeah. In the pool? Richard yeah, yeah. would have been there. In uh, fact, I got him to jump <laughs> in my pool, like to do a flip or something. Oh man, and he, like, I broke do. His nose. I looked at that gif the other the other day, and I had to show somebody because I, I had to tell it. the story <laughs> of why how you broke your nose and yeah. yeah, and I did it for the for for the gif. But yeah. <laughs> do it for the gif. <laughs> he said, "You won't dive in." I said, "You know what? I, I'm gonna do it." <laughs> and I broke my nose. I I knew I was gonna break my nose, and I I just went ahead and did it. And as soon as I hit the bottom, I was like, "Yep." You better have got that. <laughs> we, we, we got it. We, what's What's been the most fun thing that, that, ooh, you, that you've tagged tough. along on? Oh, computer? man, that's hard. We've had oh. a lot of crazy things. We've done a lot of crazy things. We have done a lot of crazy stuff. Mm. <clears throat> okay, just, uh, think mm. think about it. Think it over. Mm. And, and yeah, let's let's dive in. Let's dive in <clears throat> with Gilbert then. Where, where do we begin? <laughs> <laughs> where do we be? <laughs> First, create the universe. Uh, no, yeah, I, I, uh, how long have I been married now? 11 years or so? Yeah, yeah, I think at we least. met, we met when I was 25, I'm 40 now, so, yeah. it's been a while. You know, I was, I'm a very different person today than I was, even when I met you. Yeah, like yeah. Like a decade ago or whatever, more. Right. And it's, it's, it's been, that's the thing, like, you know, between my health deteriorating, various ailments, and a whole bunch of, whole bunch of things, and just, like I said, my adjustment to being a dad, and. Uh, living here in this this no offense to Central Valley the, this place that I I, I have really genuinely hated here with, <laughs> with all my heart um, and it's not you know it's not that I'm too cool for school here there's a lot of cool shit here and a lot of cool people yeah it's just you know the air quality the heat the you know the actively being trying sur- to kill us being sur- surrounded by some of the the demographic that I'm surrounded by here that's that makes me uncomfortable and. Um, so I, that's why I go out of my way to, to make it as best as possible for me by, by engaging with the, the lollipop guild and, <laughs> and Kyle and, and, <laughs> and so on. And so, yeah, it's been, it's been tricky. Like, uh, so my health has deteriorated dramatically, dramatically since I've, since I've been here. And part of it is, you know, dealing with stuff like I have rheumatoid arthritis and dealing with stuff like ADHD and just general executive function, They're, like when I, you know, when I'm engaged in things, I can do things extremely well. And then I have a, I have, I, I'm extremely routine oriented and if, if routines are yeah. breaking, yeah. that's been difficult. And the kids, kids are like the epitome of a broken routine, you know, <laughs> they have and it's not their fault. It's not, it's yeah. not, it's, it's more me. It's my inability to kind of, uh, put myself in a position where I can, I can thrive uh, in places that, that I find very adverse to me, you know? So if I were in a different environment, I would be much better off, I think, um, physically, mentally. Um, I mean, there will still be the element of like children breaking routines. Yeah. But yeah. You can't, you can't, there's a lot of things you can't outrun, you know? And, but, it, but I don't think, I don't think people really put enough, uh, emphasis on how critical environment is to that, you know, the habit formation, habit development, you know, you know, positive outcomes, just how you interpret things, how you interpret the world around you, especially for people that, you know, have, you know, proprioceptive issues or, you know, the, and lower executive function due to things like ADHD, um, which both my kids have. So, you know, it, it can be tricky for me. My wife grew up here, so she feels more at home. I grew up in big cities. I've traveled all my life. Um, I've always been around uh, sports and fitness and it's not to say that those things aren't here. It's just that I haven't been able to find my way. You yeah. Know? And so that, so that's part of like why I wanted unusable not to be a talking head, not to, you know, cause I wanted to, you we'll know, get out I, and about, more. get be out and about more, <laughs> you know, just so that I'm not stuck at a desk and we're making things and, um, but we need We needed to do this first. We need yeah. to set this baseline. That's why we're here today. This episode is here. Yeah. To set that understanding. And, and yeah, hopefully, yeah. uh, yeah. I mean, the next fortnight we the next, will be, yeah, right. we will be out and about doing something cool. Right. Right. And then, you know, what's interesting about having Richard here is because he's, he's seen a lot of those, those ups and downs, you know, um, he's seen a lot of that, that me really trying to impose my routine and, you know, kind of do the things that make me able to thrive physically, mentally, and, you know, when it comes to like getting work done and uh, those things are much easier for me and building businesses, stuff like that, you know, where, where, again, 
when you're in an environment conducive to you know you know working with people that kind of stuff that's that's a little bit easier for me in general but when it comes like it's almost like i come last you know sure in a lot of ways and yeah so you've seen some of that the ups and downs what do you think richard uh i don't know i mean i feel like i've seen you crash and burn and and grow quite a bit over yeah. these last couple of years and especially yeah. in, during the time period of living together like that yeah. was a that was yeah. a big time for us i think yeah for me it was uh, i've learned a lot and i still do have you know having you around and I've seen you grow into a completely different person. Well, not completely, but like just a, a better version you're of still yourself. Gilbert at heart, you know? No, <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you're always going to be Gilbert. But like, and we'll I've, see, I've we'll just see seen that you do so much in the future. I think. It's just, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I think it's I awesome. So where? So now we got a. I feel like we've got a good understanding of where you are today. Where do mm. you want to go? Besides away from the Central Valley. Aside, aside from <laughs> physically, it's, it's moving physically out of get the, the f- out of here as soon as <laughs> possible. Uh, well, let me, let me touch on that a little bit. You know, again, there, there's all kinds of stuff that, that we have access to. We have like Yosemite, we have Kings Canyon, uh, the Central Coast where I spend a lot of time in general, yeah. or try to, is pretty close. This is the furthest. Besides, I, lived in, I lived in England for a year. And the, in the UK, that was, I was in Cheltenham in, near Gloucestershire or in Gloucester, and that whole area is very far from water, right? And so I've always been on coasts otherwise. So I lived in Hawaii, like like my video said, um, for the year as well. Grew up in New York City, lived in Los Angeles the other half of the other, basically half of the remaining time, and then here. It's like a, it's a completely, <laughs> completely different animal for me. And so I, I really still haven't gotten over that, that shock. Yeah, of, not having a big city, not having a body of water. Yeah, it's it, and and again, like for most people, it's easy. Like and 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 people uh, people must be hearing this and being like, "What the fuck, man?" You know, <laughs> it, because it's it, it. I even I think on the outside looking in, like I it, it just objectively, it's like seriously, Get it's not yourself, that big of a man. deal. Yeah, <laughs> but and I can't emphasize enough, like how humans. If just think of anything that you can't do that you want to do. And apply that to your entire world. Like I've dealt with, you know, really particularly bad obsessive compulsive issues. Um, I've dealt with, you know, a lot of long history of family. I've been on my own since I was 15. Um, And so you kind of learn your own way, your own morality, your own patterns. And all that broke, you know, when I when I moved here. And it's as it is, it's difficult to maintain that stuff. Um, and because you become, I, I cannot emphasize like the importance for people that struggle with executive function, the, 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 the routine and how crucial that is. And I was very, very, very routine oriented. And then again, it's super easy to do that when you don't have kids or you're single. And again, they're fine. They're good kids. You know, it's diff- they're difficult. You know, again, ADHD doesn't make things easy, but they're at the heart. They're really good kids. Like yeah. they're fine. Oh, yeah. And... I've, it took me, I would say I've been married 11 years now. My daughter is 10. Like the, it took me, it's taken me to like literally like the 20 during the pandemic is when I just started to kind of like understand being a father. Yeah. Like even I would tell you at least like with each other the whole time. Yeah. I would, I would tell you at least like I don't under, I cannot still cannot believe that I'm a husband and a father like a decade (laughs) later. And she's like, well, believe it it's a, here we are <laughs> you know it's reality it's reality take and off your metaverse goggles totally <laughs> and, and it's true and they're right they, and she's right and it makes sense and because i've been always very self you know very interested engaged in self-preservation very selfish very self you know self-centered um so and that took a global pandemic for you to. And yeah, it's difficult to to break out of that stuff. And you know, I'm I'm, I'm obviously I'm happy I'm a dad in a lot of ways. Yeah, and yeah. I've been very outspoken about the realities of parenthood that I think a lot of people don't talk about. Um, everybody wants to make it seem like this magical thing, but <laughs> you really have to work at it. It's, yeah, it's a job. It, it is, and it changes every single thing about your life and their lives. And you're in charge of these people, and protect them, and you you know. It's just a lot. Um, and even with Richard, you know, um, feeling responsible for, for 
for the for Richard over there, all the way over there, um, all the way in the back over here. I mean, when he especially probably especially when he was a tenant of your well, of your yeah, household. I mean, yeah, he 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 lived in the in the in the outside room and and I mean, even before that, whenever you lived elsewhere, yeah. um, mm-hmm. like. I don't know. You caught me at a different at a at a weird time in my life. I think, and yeah. it was just it was really nice to have you around, Richard. I think you know, without getting too much into it, like you you've been he's been through a lot of similar things. Like he understands, uh, you know, the the fight, so to speak. And even now, you're finding yourself. The yeah. guy's a barber. You could tell from his a- Annie Lennox do. I, w- <laughs> I wish Lennox I I wish I still had hair to. We to can have Richard work on. We can well, make you can see the thing, the fun things that he could do with a razor. Well, <laughs> 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 Sweeney Todd up in here. No, yeah. but uh, yeah, I, I. So, so the answer is like, where do I want to go from here? Yeah, um, I'd like to be the person, at least regain some of the some semblance of who I was. Um, I felt I've I've I always go on about this like whole concept of me living multiple lives, like very different uh lives and very different very categorically like from going from either relationships or places i've lived or it's like there are like major several major chapters and i feel like this has been a really long chapter that Seasons i want there's so many things i want to maintain like i'm super obsessed with my wife and I'm lucky that she's stayed with me considering all that's changed and um you know and then obviously the kids and you know i, I don't give i don't care for the animals like we have too many animals and you do have a small zoo. Yeah. I never <laughs> thought you would have this many animals. Well, I grew up. Sa- I also grew up saying like I'd never get married and have kids my whole life. Here you right. are, and here we are. And I don't regret it. Don't get me wrong. It's I also, genuinely it's also don't, like don't. you. You put it out in the universe, and the universe <clears throat> is just laughing at you, yeah, which it always does. <laughs> yeah, which yeah. it always does. Like you know, if if you say you're not going to do something, the universe like is going to make Richard, it. Richard and I had been like really building a routine. So that's the thing. Like if I impose my routine, yeah. the, the guilt factor comes in because in order for me to get where I need to get, like my Your family and the people around you. Yeah. I basically need to silo everything I do eat yeah. differently, you know, from everybody else. And th- this is the way I've found success, like the most success by yeah. far. And it's, it's, it's tricky because y- you, you don't want to do that. You don't want to like be away from your family and all that. And so don't want people to think that you're an antisocial human being. Yeah. Well, them, but, (laughs) but, but you know, I just, you can't, it's not sustainable. You know what I mean? And like the moment I, the moment, so let's say I went away for a year. If I went away for a year, I'd look like the fucking lollipop guild. I'd go back to looking. I looked a lot like Richard when I got married and you know, and I didn't. I wasn't a softball World Series oh, winning champion, <laughs> but he is. He just won a like a softball got a, World Series. He's got a I giant, very giant fat ring. Ring. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Like, it really is wild. It only fits on my thumb. <laughs> I want to see it. And my left hand. I'm so disappointed you, you, you didn't bring it. Over, I got, yeah, yeah. I want to see it. Yeah. But yeah, I. I uh, in order for me to get like, if I went away, I'd go. I'd be fine. But then the problem is, like, even if I came back all the guilt of doing that in the first place. Everyone's aside, gonna try to feed you and it, it's you're just you I'm just like exactly in the same environment. Like it's not even the food. Like you've seen me like you're like sure. you, you don't eat that much or you don't or you don't uh eat sweet you know, I don't love sweets or anything yeah, like yeah. that. It's just it's just a lot. And then I and then I, it's not even being sedentary. Like I wear I wear I've worn an Apple watch since whenever they came out, two thousand ten, yeah. I don't know, yeah. twelve, fourteen. I have Something no idea. Like that. We're on like Apple Watch nine or some shit. I don't even I don't care. Nine, twelve. We're on Apple Watch twelve now, and I've worn one since day one, and so I know, like, literally what I'm doing. Um, and it, and it's not for lack, it's not for being sedentary or or busy or not busy. It's just like you, you know, it's like I'm always, I'm always doing something. Definitely. So it's just, it's always, again, selfish, right? It's it's always, it's almost always like again for the for someone else. You know, and it's it's difficult to be a selfish, self-centered husband uh, and father, sociopath, <laughs> no, husband and father that you know that operates on the, in that way. And you, people being self-destructive is super, super easy for for people in my family and people in me, and um, and you know just go go to bat for everybody else, you yeah. know, and and you kind of fall by the wayside. But yeah, so solving the environment is is, is a big thing. Uh, so I decided, for example, to we're finally like redo mo- some of this house that I hate. <laughs> and yeah, you've been going hard. Yeah, electricity. So, 
Elect- yeah, I finally got electricity and internet for the first time. Been and living like a caveman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and, but, you know, just to actually put some effort into, you know, so ta- ta- is it like taking pride in where you are? Well, it's or not, is it just, or is it just function? Just like, I need this functionality. Yeah. And I've been really like thinking like, okay, we're going to leave and I don't want to invest anything in this place. You know, if, it, if we're just going to walk away from it and I, and that's just not, that was a bad idea to begin with. I should have made it, you know, more livable, more, uh, Again, take take more control of yeah. Oh, and that's so that's another thing. House versus a home. Like I've been, I don't know, I don't know what it's like having a home. You know, I've I've, uh, you know, when you grew up in New York City, born in New York City, moved to California, Los Angeles when I was very young, moved back to New York City, and then just constantly all over, you know, country, you know, world, that kind of stuff. And I've had like, I think I'll pull up the chart, but it's over thirty five addresses. Damn. in my life you know so i when i got married i was talking, talking to elise about this yesterday elise is my wife scott um <laughs> the uh i was talking about i, was, I said what's it, what's shocking to me is like i was this kind of person that was again i look more like him this guy and <laughs> and we we, I, 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 I could move all my stuff All my whole entire world was extremely portable and I was just ready to go, you know? And now I've become like the epitome of like the suburban hellscape, both physically, mentally, in terms of all the shit that I have around me. <laughs> and I, it just, it's disgusting to me. You know, I grew up in cities. I did I wasn't car dependent. I wasn't, you know, it just, it's a completely f-ing different way of live, living. And it's, I feel disgusted by it, like, like genuinely like disgusted. Weighed down by it? Weighed down physically, mentally, in, like in literal, the literal surroundings. Um, not having access to public transportation, not having access to the water, not having, ac- and just all, and I could see why so many people just acquire and go and acquire and acquire things. And I'm like literally the, the this most disgusting example <laughs> Of this now, I've worked on an episode of Hoarders. You are not, no, no. That level. As far as like no. the the juxtaposition between who I was before and who I am yeah, now, yeah, yeah, yeah. and no, what I mean, it's a different chapter. Like this is like this is when I'm like, you're in, you know, this is like the fucking two towers now. We're in a completely different couple of books. You know? <laughs> so yeah, it's it's a completely different thing for me. Saruman's mask is off. Yeah, so I was doing well. We were he and I were were on the right track, and then. I had to have my arm chopped off, literally. Part of it. Like literally, and my, my bone is severed. Part of the, yeah. It's it's just flopping around. All, all it's like this. It's got a void. I've got a void. He has I a make void. people touch it. Your brother I, touched it fearlessly. Yeah. He, I couldn't believe it. Well, of all the fing things, well, he won't even drink well. chocolate, you know, like hot chocolate, but he'll touch my void. Yep. And I loved it. I was so impressed. You Brandon for sure will be on the app on the show. And yeah. and he'll, he'll be very serious, very serious. <laughs> he's, a, he's just a very, he's like devastatingly handsome and really f-ing serious. And so, but he, uh, but yeah, he touched my void. I forgot where I was going with that. Void. Well, you, and then the pandemic hit yeah. and I was like, this, I'm going, I, I need to like, you know, go in a little ball. So CGP Grey put out this video called Spaceship U. Yes. You remember it? Excellent. And I've been talking to Mark about it lately because like part of it is like, it's all about the control over your environment to the extent that your you're stuck. Is, you're stuck, right? You're so you home. silo these things. Yeah. And all your I can think space, of your food space, your sleep space, exactly. your in- entertainment space. Exactly. And all I can think of is that f-ing guy doesn't have kids. For yeah. sure doesn't have kids. Yeah, yeah. Because the, you have all these space. That's what I mean. Because for kids, all of it is play space. <laughs> yeah. It's play space. It's mess space. It's eat space. It's learning space. It's, you know, and that's why it was so difficult for so many people. And, you know, that have kids. <laughs> and I just like, I just went right back to where I was, you know, right, right from being on a, on, on a roll. And that, so that was difficult for me. And then somebody who, with, with OCD who loves to wash their hands and germaphobe. And then all of a sudden I'm in, uh, I can't there wash. A, I literally there's couldn't. There's a virus that is. There's a, yeah, you want to wash your hands. And then I couldn't because I couldn't use my left arm for what? I yeah, don't know, months. Several months. And yeah. then, and uh, yeah, it, it was just it was just a wild time. So it's it's and that's already twenty percent of pretty much effectively of the time that I'm, the time frame that I'm referring to from this major change. So yeah. it's a substantial chunk, you know. And I'm one that also, 
<laughs> but it's it, yeah, you know, you got to be realistic. And yeah, I just like the body image and and all these things. Like I just, it's very very difficult for me to get over that and to have confidence. And I want to separate that from not liking being in front of the camera. I don't give a f- about that. You were already yeah, you were already not wanting to be in front of the camera. Yeah, That's, I could I could be an Adonis or I could be you know and just in a happy place and I still won't like it. But this side of the glass yeah. sphere is not Gilbert's side. No, no, I like but the other side. We're getting them there. And, yeah. and, you know, I've committed, I said, you know, we're going to do this new show. We did the podcast. We wrapped it up. We wanted to start this new show. Yeah. And I said, you know, if, if you want to do a show and work out after and create a new routine where we're recording and then it just becomes instinctive yep. that we go on a walk or eventually run or cycle or, you know, whatever. I'm, I'm game. I'm here for you. Cool. To, I love it. Yeah. And I mean, that's, a, and that's, a, that's an important part of your environment, right? Who you surround yourself with. Yeah. You know, that's why things like the Markhive, <clears throat> we, we didn't talk about the Markhive. We haven't last explained week. the Markhive. <clears throat> I said I'd talk about it last week. Maybe that'll times, be next week's episode. Exactly. The Markhive. <laughs> Maybe we will do it. It's hard to do a video about that, but we'll make it work. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah. So that kind of changes what I, what I had in mind. We could do, we could do it. Next, we'll we'll next find, episode. we'll find, we'll find something. Next, next fortnight. But yeah. So yeah, keep doing that. Keep controlling my environment or, you know, or, you know, massaging my environment to, to some place where I can Gui- get it, guiding, where I can be guiding it. To- and, but also through the lens of a family, because again, yeah. this is way easier if I just forget <laughs> all the other shit Peace, family. and, and just do, well, not even just leave, but even just be in my own place, Sure, which sure. I'm really good at. I'm really good at that. Space you know? them out. <laughs> you know, and just ignore everybody and eat my own thing or do my own thing. And, and you know, it's just, and, it's just not, you know, that's not the person or, or father or, or husband I want to be. Yeah. I mean, you know? I, I feel like a little bit of that is appropriate. Like, yeah, you have to. Food, you, ha- you have to. Food is fine. Kids, yeah. Are, yeah, they can have their chicken nuggets and you can. I mean, the kids what eat whatever the hell they're going to eat in the first place anyway. Yeah, yeah. So it is, you know. Uncrustables. Uncrustables. Yeah. And then we're still eating across the board. No, this guy, I, I, I eat them all the time. <laughs> Man, and they're like constantly sold out now too. I know. And I we still a, haven't solved the mystery of the, the different sizes. Did you know about this? What? So Costco, Costco has the biggest Uncrustables as far as my research is. Three hundred and twenty calories. Three hundred and twenty calories. And they're genuinely sizes? bigger. Yeah, and then um, mm-hmm. the ones that grocery stores are like 240 calories and Two, a little bit smaller. What? Smaller even. Yeah. And then we saw some at a school. That were only 200 calories. Oh, wow. Very small. Well, the packaging seem, made it seem like they were smaller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm still, I'm still trying to get they, to the bottom they, of this. They have different weights. They have different calorie content. They physically look different. Yeah. Wow. There's ones more stuffed. Yeah, so the Costco ones are the baller Uncrustables. But they're, but they're almost only, mm-hmm. almost always only grape. Oh, uh, sometimes you're strawberry. Stra- I want yeah. strawberry sometimes. Yeah. So. And they're the best deal, too, by far. I mean, you just oh, have right. to... Oh, right. Costco, You yeah. just have to drive through the fucking disgusting suburban hellscape <laughs> on the giant fucking unwalkable roads <laughs> to get to this giant fucking Mecca. big box store with a parking lot that's a sea of parking and, and then it's full and it's and totally it's, and it's full every time <laughs> and you have to drive through 115 degree heat yeah, and, yeah. And, lo- and the we, asphalt, we the literally asphalt melts your shoes yeah. as you're walking through the park. And then line. our and then, you know, God forbid it's fall and all of California is on fire. We had an AQI. <laughs> we maxed out the AQI, right? Five hundred. It, it was, it it was off the charts. <laughs> in like, the Central Valley. Yeah. And it, it, it was completely. It, yeah, I, yeah. I was joking. I would be it was like a horrible. I walk into a building and put in my put on my COVID in 95 and I'd walk out of a building and take my COVID in 95 off and put my smoke in 95 <laughs> put on. a respirator on, <laughs> yeah. you know? Oh man, I, 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 so part of it is like, I, I really truly like from me to you, like, I don't, I don't want to move away from you. Like that's a, that's part of it. I, like, I want you guys to like, yeah, I just, yeah, I'll yeah. just get a, a giant compound. We joked, we joked about yeah. buying the editor compound yeah. land somewhere and, and yeah. just building it. Yeah. I, and my main thing about the central Valley of California well, is my whole my whole family's here, yeah, but huge. I also I also see like so much potential. potential. Yeah, and I want the oh, community man. to grow, and I want to push it along, and I want things to get better. Hashtag just wait. 
Hashtag just wait. <laughs> we'll be saying that a lot, so get used to it. But it's not just waiting. I feel like I'm actively participating <laughs> in. in community building when you I you are can. you are you you you're like the Pope of Chili Town. You you <laughs> you belong here. This every time we go somewhere, it's like hi Kyle, and it's it, it, exactly he he knows everybody. And it's fine. This is your, you grew up in this environment. Yeah, you are, yeah. you've embraced it. You understand it. I you, think it, I, I was waiting for you to mention too, this house that you currently live in. Yeah. At least your wife grew She's up. She's lived. Here. Yeah. And then we, yeah. And it's cycled through and we decided Multiple to keep it. Yeah. Members, it's just, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's we even really moved back ingrained. into it after having a different, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Just cause it was cheaper. It's deep. It's deep in her, yeah. in her bones to be yeah. here. But yeah. I'm, I'm open to it. I don't think it like tomorrow we're going to get up and move. We're, right. we're not ready as, as well. I mean, I, I could see we we should really do it. We have to do an episode on your family because okay. the juxtaposition we like Brandon, Brandon, we, will come you and I show. could not be more, have grown up more differently. <laughs> it's, it's, it, he's like, he's like the Portuguese Chinese Waltons. I mean, I want to make a joke. <laughs> But it's really wild. Like they're they're you guys are, like each they're other. all beautiful. They like each other. They don't yell. You know, they're or, it's like yeah. If we're yelling, it's, really, it's just because we're excited. It's, yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. We we meanwhile like you know I'm like Bensonhurst volume, and they you know people freak out here because they think I'm yelling at them. <laughs> you know, so it's yeah. It's it's a different. It's, yeah. Is it nature? Is it nurture? There's definitely quite a bit of nurture. Yes. In it, yeah. Uh, for I sure. mean, yeah. You know, you're good folks, and it's just that they're they're such a beautiful family. It's it's devastating. The, um, gram, the grandma. Why she, are we talking hold, about me? She, this is how to. Grandma this is how holds to, her mouth all the time. It's so fucking cute. It's, 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 Stefan. It's, it's so cute. She does the Stefan. <laughs> it's it's unbelievable. Um, yeah. <laughs> Gilbert, I am happy to be doing this show with you. Yeah. I'm Thank proud you. of you for Likewise. all of the, to be here yeah, and do it. it. And, and I'm committed to, to help you get on the track that you want to be on. I appreciate it. That's a, that's a lot to ask of people, you know, and you, you know, that's, uh, you know, uh, of all the things that I've had to learn in the last decade, it's like to literally to ask for help. Cause you never, I never did. Yeah. Richard, I asked him, he's just drilling f-ing holes in my <laughs> cabinet. Called him so, up and was like, "Hey, like, man, Richard, I please, <laughs> please, I need you. I'm, I can't fit under this this drawer that you need to slide into. Hit in that tiny crawl space and drill <laughs> yeah. this hole. Please, drill, yeah. please cut this square into my <laughs> into my wall. Oh, it didn't work. Oh, and it didn't work. Darn it. <laughs> now, now we need to still did it, but figure out how to do it. Next option. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, this has been unusable. Yep. Was there anything unusable about this? I, I think me. I think, oh, <laughs> no, there's potential. There's plenty of potential. Yeah, just wait. Just wait. Hashtag, just wait. hashtag, just wait. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> thank you again, Richard, for hanging out with us. Uh, I hope you had fun. Thanks for having me. Uh, did you think of the most fun thing that you've done? Oh, man. Hanging out with We've Gilbert? done quite a bit. I think I would just probably sum it up as... Uh, just the the times that we take to kind of like travel together. Yeah, that's always been Traveling. the best. Yeah, hop in a car. Let's go. We somewhere. just we we've gone. Well, I mean, not all over the place, but like we have yeah. a significant amount of places. And yeah. he's been able to show me a lot of cool things. And well, likewise, it's really cool. So, likewise, he cuts my hair now. I do. Yeah. He does. Stylish. I never good. thought I would be here cutting your hair. Cutting Gilbert's hair in this moment. Yeah. I really make it. I mean, it's just so convenient too. That's yeah, strange. You know, he he does house calls as well. I do. So book them. Uh, what, uh, Shameless how, plug right here. Yeah, no, what's your what, Instagram or I really or uh, well, it's Styles by Richard, but styles it has nothing on the Instagram page yet. All right, this is it. This has been unusable. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell. Don't do any of these. Smash things. it if you're if that's something that you're into. Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm Kyle and I'm Gilbert. Thanks again, Richard. Yeah, Richard. thanks for having me. We'll see you Richard. next time. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> okay. I didn't even know I did it that way. That's funny. You were you were you were talking to me just now and you were doing. I it. was. You you I just, did not. I you do swear do to you, I don't even. I didn't even know. Yeah. That's great. 